Hey there, internet best buddies. Uh, as always, I'm Ray. I'm doing something a little different. Uh, I cannot get out of this beanbag chair once I sit in it. It's so freaking comfy. Oh my lord. Um, so one of the YouTubers that I watch that does movie reviews, he does these like month long vlogs where he does like a few minutes a day throughout the month. Uh, his name's Jeremy Johns. He's a great movie reviewer. I really like him. Uh, go check his stuff out. Maybe I'll leave a link down below. I thought I would try that because it seems like a cool idea like I like the idea of vlogging but I don't like the pressure of like having to go out like every weekend and do something so it's really just going to be kind of like a journal of stuff that I do throughout the month so I mean for starters hand it away uh is it backwards I guess it is backwards right yeah so for starters uh working on my gaming backlog uh I'm dubbing 2020 the year of the backlog because I'm going to try and not spend money on games because I have so many that I just don't play. So I'm working on Spyro. I've got Spyro, what is it, the year of the dragon? Third one? What's up, Fox? That's the one that's left right now. So I'm working on that and then a few other games. But, yeah, I just figured I'd do kind of like a journal of stuff that I do throughout the month. I'm going to try to do like a couple minutes a day. So we'll see how that works. And if it does work, this will go up. And if not, then you'll never see this footage. All right, so it's still the first, but me and Fox were literally laying on this beanbag chair all day. We couldn't get up, and we just played Spyro all day. I watched uh, Alita Battle Angel. It was pretty good. I really liked it. Don't know if it's, like, top movie of the year, but whatever. Uh, still really good. I liked it. Um, and we just got done finishing the um, resolutions video. So hopefully that goes up either on the first. Uh, I think it's like 30 minutes rough, but there's a lot I got to cut out of it. So it's either going up the first or it's going up the second. I don't know. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Right, Fox? Is this your new bed? Funny thing about it is well, we had to like inflate the bed sort of, or the, I call it a bed, the beanbag chair. It's called an ultimate sack. Uh, you have to basically... Uh, open it up, put the cover on it, and it's kind of like a Casper mattress where it slowly inflates. Although a Casper mattress, I think, goes a lot quicker. Where am I looking? Over here. And this one had to basically sit for two to three days. And the dog wanted nothing to do with it. Like, she didn't really go near it at all. She just jumped on the normal bed, everything like that. The second that I lay down on this bed, or on this beanbag chair. She was like, oh, it's one of those. And now it's basically her new bed. Right, Fox? So, yeah. This is mine. And you took it from me. But I tell you what, it's literally the most comfy thing when I'm laying on this in front of my TV and she's just snuggled up into like a nook of my body. But yeah, it's, it's so comfy. I, I, my parents, they give me the treats and then I, I pretend I don't get no treats and then I, I don't get the treats like I'm about to do. Where are the treats, Fox? I will show you where the treats are. Just give me a sec. I'm just going to look at them real quick. Where are they over there? Are they over there? Why are you guiding her? Why'd you have to ruin that? You ruined it by talking to her. We got some Papa John's. We got some Pepsi. And we're watching the last movie I have to watch from last year. Rocket Man. Yeah. You want to show them your choppers? How you're missing a tooth? Come here. Come here. Fox. Your pain. So we're uh, working on a Star Wars puzzle. I think my dad got me uh, a few years ago for Christmas. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's gonna be a doozy. I, I I just can't stop doing this puzzle. Like, I literally spent seven hours last night to the point where man had to call me to go to bed at like one thirty or two, and then I woke up at like eight again this morning. And I'm just still working on it. And I'm just so close. 
And I didn't, I didn't think I would be like this. But I just can't stop. And done. But now I want to do more puzzles. Alright, so me and Fox just finished uh, Life Strange 2. Pretty good. Uh, definitely a very political game. Uh, but it's still pretty good. I got, um, what is it? Um, I got the ending, I guess it's safe to spoil it. I got the ending where Sean gets to Mexico, Daniel doesn't, and Daniel lives with the grandparents. And Sean ends up with Lila, no, not Lila, uh, Cassidy. So that was cool. I like that ending. Apparently there's like seven endings. Which is very different than the two endings from the previous game. But I definitely recommend it. Uh, especially if you like the Life is Strange universe. There's some cool ties to it. And now we're going to finally start watching the last season of Scrubs. Which, let me get, get the case over here. I got it from Amazon forever ago. And I don't know if this is supposed to be like a representation of the quality of the season. But it came absolutely shattered. Luckily, the discs are still fine, I think. But, yeah, we're going to start watching that. Uh, me and Amanda watched all of Scrubs, I want to say, right before we moved in with her dad. So hopefully the time difference uh, between that and this will make it feel a little better. I don't know, because when it originally aired, we had that great series finale. And then they're like, one more season, and it kind of undermined it. So hopefully this is a good uh, return, now that we've given ourselves a little more time. And also, uh, do you guys remember that Dave Franco was in this show? Crazy. What do you want? You want a little bit of a toothbrush, a little mint, hmm? There you go. There you go. Nom nom noms. Now don't try and trick us later and pretend you didn't get any, because I know you got some. When they were raised thing at a box, he's like, oh, what day? <laughs> I was like, oh. And yeah, in the I don't know. Who knows? So here's a problem. I have far too many games, and I just don't know where to start. You know? I just, I, I don't know. Where do we start, huh? Which one? That's a good choice. I just, I, I don't know where to begin. What's up? Oh, she's looking at you, though. <laughs> she wants the meatball. This dog, when it's time for bed, she just stares at me and growls at me. Until I come to bed. One of these days, Fox will actually record something of substance. But for now, you just get another treat. Oh. What'd you do that for? You can actually eat it. There you go. Alright, so currently, I'm editing a video. Playing a pretty meat crop game. And, uh, having some decent pizza. So, that's my night. That's most nights. My life's not that interesting. So I came home early today to see the puppers. She's excited, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you excited? But your day's home. And we're going to play some games and edit some videos. So this is where I'm going to be for the rest of the day, maybe, unless I decide to go get some food. come home, we go outside, and we go potties. Where you going? Huh? Where you going?
Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? What are you doing, huh? You itchy? So it was a good day for movies. We saw Bad Boys for Life. They announced Bad Boys 4. And they announced National Treasure 3. Everyone's in. She can come in. Come on, up. Come here. What, are you just going to bark at nothing again? Give it up. Come here. Up. Oh, yeah. It's Saturday. It's snowing outside. I'm playing Dead Alliance in the living room because the internet's a little better. Foxy's way over there. I shoveled earlier, but, you know, I'm going to have to go shovel again. And, uh, I got some Pepsi. So... I guess it was that. Man, I hate this game so much. I just want it to be done. Stop, zombies. It's finally done. I'm so glad that I can just, you know, pop right over here. Oops, too far. And don't install it. I'm so glad this game is done. You have no idea. Now be gone. You terrible, terrible thing. So, uh, I know my New Year's resolution was to not buy any more movies, but I had an Xbox controller that wasn't really 100% working. Don't tell GameStop because they didn't take any money off of it. But I got like 17 bucks for it, and we just moseyed on into Best Buy, and they had uh, It Chapter 2 on sale for like 14 bucks, and Amanda had a couple gift cards, so it was like only 6 bucks. So, uh, I'm not really counting that as having bought a Blu-ray since I didn't really pay for it. But, we might be watching it tonight. Uh, I gotta edit uh, a video. I might do another review tonight. And I'm just, you know, chugging away on some Lego Star Wars 2. So that's fun. Very, very weird achievement list. Because you can tell it was like from a time when they didn't really know what achievements were. Yet, they, haven't figured, they hadn't figured it out. And it's like... You have to complete every level without dying, and then just get, like, X percentage in the game, and then just beat all the levels. And that's basically it. And let me tell you, the space missions, you, you can't just have a ghost character. You have to actually do those legit, and some of them are pretty tough. Like, I had some Dark Soul levels of anxiety while trying to play those. So, uh, Amanda's sister's over tonight. I don't know, maybe we'll watch It Chapter 2. Man is not really feeling it, but I'm, I'm like, man, it's a lot more of a comedy. It's a lot, pretty funny. It's not super scary. She hates scary. But that's my Sunday night. So Foxy and I have literally been on a movie binging tear today. Uh, I woke up, I started Spider-Man Far From Home, because I hadn't watched that on Blu-ray yet. Uh, me and Amanda then went and saw 1917. There will be a review for that at some point this week, along with Bad Boys for Life. Uh, and a couple other videos I got finally put out but then we came home finished spider-man watched kingdom of heaven for some reason i was just craving watching that movie and now we're gonna watch dragon ball super broly and i think that's gonna be how we end the night because i'm gonna maybe try to edit a video so yeah pretty eventful day fox huh you got your nails done too right right yeah you got your nails done dude look at them look at them nails they're so nice so i don't normally record stuff before work but I re-fluffed the beanbag chair, so it's pretty big. And, you know, she's just chilling on it. Like, you know, pretty high up. You're just chilling? Huh? You're just chilling? Yes, yes. So there's some of my Blu-rays that I haven't watched yet. I also redid my entire, like, shelf over here. So that's, like, a bunch of Blu-rays as well. And I just watched Zombieland, so now it goes into the Blu-ray box, where they've all been watched. Fox, are you just hanging out with Ryan? Fox! Yeah. We're having a sleepover while we wait for Rosie's wedding. So, uh, we just got back from Rosie's wedding. Uh, it was loads of fun. I had a blast. Amanda had a great time. She did an excellent job with her speech. 
they all went out to the after party at like a local bar in the area. I'm not feeling it. I'm pretty tired. I don't really like to go out to bars anyway. But since I knew I would have this free time and a little bit of free time before the actual wedding, I brought my Xbox. And I'm going to play some Dark Souls 2 because I got to finish grinding those uh, sunlight metals. And somehow being in the hotel is making that go exceptionally well. I got like nine or ten in like the hour that I was waiting to get ready for the wedding earlier. So hopefully I get it done tonight. So Foxy's really excited for me to be home. Uh, we got back a couple hours ago. It's like, I don't know, I think we got back around one. Hey, what's up there? But pretty tired. Clearly not as tired as just uh, the bride and groom. But we we helped move a bunch of stuff back and forth. So now we're going to relax all day. Uh, maybe work on a review. I don't know. Uh, play some video games. You know, the huge. We'll see where the day takes us. Huh, pup? Yeah, kisses. Did you miss me? I can't go five feet in Target now without Amanda looking at baby stuff. Man, do you have a problem? I'm sorry, is that a Superman outfit? I don't think so. We're not raising our kid wrong. This seems dangerously close to copyright infringement, but I'm okay with it. Alright, so just finished Spyro. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, really good trilogy. So glad I'm done with it. So it goes in the Blu-ray box right there. And now I'm going to sit down. I'm going to finish uh, American Made, which is the Tom Cruise movie. And at first I was like, eh, not super feeling it, but it, it really kicks into high gear. Like 30 minutes-ish in, maybe sooner. I don't remember. I was on my lunch break when I started watching it. But I got an hour left, so... Might as well finish it, right? So, I was hoping to have my reviews up for um, Bad Boys for Life and 1917. But I came home from work and I've just literally been drained. Like, I can barely function. So, I guess I've already failed my one resolution to put a video up a week because today would have been a week since the last video so at least I think so but yeah so oh well I'm just gonna keep trying but I don't know I'm super exhausted I was gonna just do it like from the beanbag chair and have like a really relaxed type review but I don't know if that would really play well because I really don't want to just put something out to put it out to meet a time constraint i'd rather put you know some sort of thought and effort into it so that double feature review will be out at some point but as for right now i'm just gonna lay here and i'm gonna finish watching elysium because i'm watching that for some reason probably because i've never seen it and then i'll probably watch Chappie after that and then that'll be the you know the blom camp trilogy because i already finished uh the other one district nine i finished that earlier First time watching them all, too. Um, so far, I think they're pretty okay. Like, they got cool ideas, but I don't know. They're just not really for me, I guess. But I'll give them a shot. Hey, Foxy. Today was pretty mad because we had to go to the, e or the urgent care because Daddy had a really low temperature. That ended up not being a low temperature because it fixed itself somehow. And I went up three degrees. Yeah. So we stayed home and played South Park all day instead of doing anything productive. So, that was today, huh? I'm trying to, you know, enjoy my night. Play a game. Um, you can't really see it here. I back up, can you? No, it's just really bright. Uh, we're playing South Park. Fractured Butthole. Super funny game. Super fantastic. If you love South Park, absolutely pick it up if you haven't already. It's like Stick of Truth, but
but with superheroes. So you can't go wrong. But all she does is she just sits around, right? Or she gets up and goes down the carpet. And she just... <laughs> at me. And it's either she has to go to the bathroom, which she already did when I got home, like, a few hours ago. Or she needs food or water. Or she's just begging for a treat, you know? Is that what you want? You just want a treat, huh? Is that all you require? Is it a treat? Well, you're not getting one. Well, maybe you will. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... We just got back from seeing uh, the gentleman. It was pretty good. A little frustrating at points because you're not sure how everything wraps up together. But, eh. Uh, I plan on doing a whole January movie review because I just realized I didn't put out a single review in January. Which I really should have. Yes, I did just Raymond, fart. should we not put that in your video? Do what I want. Um, so yeah, it's the 31st, which is the end of the video. I'm going to try this again next month, and hopefully it's a little more entertaining. Like I said, my life's kind of boring. Hey, Fox, come here. Where you at? Where are you at? She's way back there eating her food. Oh. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought down below. Bye.